in 2019, Mohammed Mujahid excavated in um, South Saqqara near the pyramid of Jedkara Sesi. And what he found was, you know, around the pyramid, he thought, not much is going to be here, but let's tidy it up. But instead, he actually found a tomb um, from the Old Kingdom dating to the Fifth Dynasty. It was beautifully decorated. There were some pottery dating again to the same time period and also the remains of a mummy. Now, the mummy, when I first looked at it, I thought, this can't be Old Kingdom, it must be a much later period because the style of mummification was something that dates to about more than a thousand years later with a lot of use of resin and bandages and so forth. But all the circumstantial evidence from the tomb points to the fact that this is indeed an Old Kingdom mummy. And if that is the case, this is a unique find because it does not fit the typology of mummies of this period. And this would make us rethink entirely the history of mummification, our understanding of what the Egyptians knew of the technology of different materials such as resins um, and oils, and also um, trade routes because a lot of the resins that are used in mummification actually come from um, the Levant or parts of Africa. So the fact that such a lavish use of resins is apparent in this mummy means that they were doing a lot more trade with these materials, they knew what to do with them. And also it means that this person would have been of a very high status to have been mummified in this way. My role in Muhammad Magahid's team is that of mummy specialist and well as archaeozoologist. So I work with the physical anthropologist Saina Hashesh and Ahmed Gabr and together we look at mummies and bodies because by combining our specializations we come up with a picture of how someone was buried and also they carry it on and saying you know this is what the person's diseases were this is what could have happened to them and I can also fill in gaps and say well maybe they got this disease by doing x y or z um, so that's one aspect of my life and that's the one that relates most to this mummy and otherwise I work on um, animal remains and so I have also identified in this mummy's burial chamber some offerings and again the offerings are very typical of the old kingdom so there is nothing to say scream out oh I'm a much later intrusive mummy which is why it makes it even more mysterious and intriguing and important.